Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're going fishing Frankenstein style in Vietnam. The Best Ever Food Review Show finds the best food from around the world. But equally important is learning where that food comes from in the first place. How do we hunt a cow or trap a pig? Or how many volts does it take to kill a fish? Once you zap it, it like comes, it floats to the top? Yeah, it uh, gets struck and yeah. then it just flum, floating uh, on the surface of the water. Today, Duk, a tour guide, has brought me to his beautiful countryside home where he and his uncle will teach me about a new style of fishing. It's Sunday and you're going fishing with your boys, but do you have everything you need? Bobbers, check. Brewskis, double check. A car battery. You're gonna need a car battery. So this is like a backpack yeah. and there's a car battery? Yeah. You're telling me you have a car battery hooked up to two rods and no one here has ever just been curious about shocking themselves? Uh, Can you get this like at a Walmart or a Best Buy? No, it's illegal. Oh. Now I know people in the comments section will want to get upset about this practice, but the truth is that electrofishing with a car battery has been a tradition in Vietnam for thousands of years. This is the uncle I wanted growing up. Sorry, actual uncles, but Uncle De, Uncle De. Is, he's showing me how to shock the fish. Okay, look. Oh my god. <laughs> how, how long does it take for them to, to be alive again? Fish lovers will be happy to know that the shock only stuns the fish. It doesn't kill it. So the fish will come to within a couple of minutes, just in time to be chopped into little pieces. Have you ever used this for other animals? Maybe you could use it for birds, um, small cows, a deer? Mm, no, it's just for fish. Just for fish? Yep. Hmm. Though electrofishing is widely prohibited around the world, it's still used as a tool by environmental agencies to measure fish populations and tag fish. The shock only stuns the fish, and within a few minutes they come to, fully capable of doing more fish things. And this is to prove that they're not dead, it's not cruel. I don't know that it's gonna fit. I've got like an oak chest, bro. Oh, it's nice. It's nice and snug. It feels like it was custom made for me. If I was terminal, this would be my make a wish right now. I'm so happy. Electrofishing in Vietnam is illegal. Yeah. And today, if we're caught, we could be put in jail. No, I just, I just like oh, it. Say, no, say yes, say yes. Yes. Yes, oh my God. This is one of the most dangerous things I've ever done. So has your uncle been caught doing this? Heaven, no. We can do it quick, like two or three hours. That's oh, fine. oh, that seems not that quick. Okay, I don't want to get caught. That's why we're going to get in and out two to three hours maximum. Fast. Okay, hi. Here we are, finally at the river where we're doing some electro fishing. We were rudely interrupted by, uh, I don't know, about six huge buffalo that wanted to take a dump in the river. But it's okay, it was upriver, so, ah, uh, right. All right, I'm coming to help, uncle. I've got a net. I don't know if he no. sees fish. Does he see or he just kind of goes to where they would probably be? It's best if you have kind of a sneaky walk. Oh, did you get one? Yeah, two. Uh, okay, you put it in here, and then I'll put it in here. Get out. All right, whatever, it's gonna live in the net, okay? Mm, yeah, under that rock, maybe. No, okay. God, these are really small. Here's what I learned today. The reason they're shocking them is because they're too, they would be too small to catch with a hook anyways, and that's probably why it's illegal, is because they want these small fish to grow up to be big fish, and uh, they don't want the fish to get all fished out. Um, ah, that makes sense. I'm still gonna try it though. It's a cultural experience. 
All right, guys. Okay, we practice for this. Head down the river? Okay, let's do it. Nope. I saw a fish, but it just swam away. It didn't, it didn't care. I suck at this. Right now, I'm more determined than ever. I'm wasting their time. I'm not catching fish. It's time to get serious. No, God. The fish are always gonna be by the most creepy areas. Where are the fish, man? Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that. What do you think that is? Like one, two kilograms? Okay, now I've got my first one. I think I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm wearing the new Nike underwater fishing shoes. It's been about 20 minutes. I've caught uh, one arguably huge fish, but to be honest, I thought this was gonna be more like cheating. It is way harder than I thought. Uh, first of all, this battery is like 30 pounds. And then the fish, uh, they don't wanna be caught or killed, so they just go away from you. It's just, uh, all right, we're gonna keep trying though. Come on. I'm gonna use this whole damn battery up right now. These fish are fucking embarrassing me. All right, well, we got one. How many do you usually catch a day? Like one? One or two kilos. Oh man. I thought this would be easy. I suck. All right, let's, let's head back. I did get one fish. I'm gonna get that stuffed taxidermied. Ah, uh, huh. Maybe we have a defective battery and not I suck at this activity, for example. I'm gonna give it five more minutes and then my effing shoulders are gonna not fall off because I'm ripped, but they hurt. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, crucial technique that was missing. First of all, probably the battery voltage was turned down for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, so you gotta start wide and then go narrow. All right, let's try that. Pop. Oh, I'm on a roll. Oh, another one. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> I've got like five in here and a stick. We're eating good tonight. I gotta say, this is a big turnaround. And you know, I feel like this is a metaphor for life. You need, you need mentors like Uncle D over here. And you know, at first I didn't think I could do it because of self-limiting beliefs. And now I'm like, no, I can definitely electrocute fish. D yeah. Uncle D is like a hero to me. He's a role model. For him, this ain't no thing. For me, I thought this was cheating, that people were gaming the system. Um, it's not so easy, okay? I was out there for probably an hour, carrying a 30 pound battery on my back, trying to zap fish, and I've got what, maybe six minnow-sized fish. It's enough to feed a slightly bigger fish. That's it. It was on this day, after electrocuting my first fish, that I went from being a fisher boy to a fisher man. This is Sonny in Vietnam saying bye-bye. Okay, can I see that real quick? But there is one respite from the buzz of the city. Each morning by 6 a.m., Tao Don Park is packed with old men boasting flamboyant songbirds. But what happens here isn't as innocent as you might think. Literally every country has their own super popular bird sport. In the Philippines, it's cockfighting. But in Vietnam, it's something much more brutal. 